Hello, all you Wookiee Warriors. How's it going? So today, we're going to be going over how to beat Yuki Ona. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, basically, she's the... Well, she's the wife of Nobunaga Oda. She is... Uh, I guess you can say a frozen spirit that came back from the dead. Um, she literally has the power of ice. So she has kind of a, a bit of an AOE attack. So she'll kind of stomp down and ice will go out. Um, she also has... I think she like spawns like weapons or ice staffs that would kind of circle and she will shoot those at you. Um, she also has a spear, so that also does insane damage. So try, be very careful on this fight. I find tr dodging the best. I, pr I haven't fought Yo Yuki in a long time, so. I'm probably going to be a bit rusty at this boss fight because um, I haven't put my, a lot of practice into this game, but I want to try to do my boss guys the best I can for you guys. Um, also, she is weak to fire, so what you want to do is probably have yourself a fire talisman, or if you are lucky enough to like me who got a fire spear, definitely use your fire spear. Also use a... Uh, a fire um, guardian spirit. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use this. I also am going to be running a sloth talisman, which will allow me to make her go. Uh, allow her allow me to make her slower. Um, now. Like I said, just really watch yourself here. Um, I think I went over pretty much where what attacks she, attack she does. Oh, I almost forgot. She does kind of like a battle charge, if you guys haven't played Fable. Um, basically, she kind of runs really fast at, um, at your location. Uh, also leaving a trail of ice behind her. Um, I think that's probably it. So my recommendation is just kind of get a few hits in and back away. A few hits in. Wait for your opportunity. Um, the AOE attack, um, I don't remember it doing a lot of damage. Um, but I think it's, I think the longer you stay in it, the more damage it does. I think it wheedles your, your health away. So try not to stay in it. Um, but look for, I think the best time I think to attack her is when she's actually shooting a shard at you. Shard, oh, not the long, the long shard, yeah, you can pretty much dodge that. But she also shoots a lot of just barrages of shards, ice shards at you. Um, that's probably one of the things that will kill you quickly if you're not dodging. Uh, she also launches one really big one at the end. Um, so on that, well, I would probably just kind of run around the field or just run or just dodge the best you can because that will we just literally destroy your stamina. Don't even try to attack her at that point. Um, pretty much that's as much as I can go over uh, the talks. Um, let's get right to the fight and show you what I'm talking about. Also, I'm going to be staying in low stance. I'm just better with the spear when I'm in low stance. There's her AOE attack, pretty much. There's her spear. That's your. That's the. That's the shards you really want to watch out for. 
And Yuki is not going to be a nice lady today. And I just totally... I've been playing the Xbox a little bit too much, so I pushed Circle to Dodge when I should have been pushing X. Also, um, if you're going to prep, make sure you get to this shrine here. Because you get a nice little shortcut all the way back to the boss room. The only thing you have to deal with is a freaking skeleton. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cruisery Gamma. I'm oh, sorry, guys. I usually don't do this, but it's hard to pass this up. I was kind of hoping it had fire on it. Alright, on to the boss fight. Back to the boss fight. So really watch out for those shards. There's her ice breath. There's her little spear. Ow. So as you can see, she has some pretty atta pretty intense attacks, but all in all, they are dodgeable. So she actually has two stops. I was totally forgot about that. I thought it was just one AOE, but she does do kind of like a AOE that actually circles around her. And at that point, it's actually a really good way to get some good damage on her. Uh, just make sure you're on with your blocks, dodges on this boss fight, or you're as a first attempt, you can saw that you're gonna just gonna get destroyed. And I didn't have my fire weapon equipped. I didn't even use sloth, so Yuki, you gotta made me mad. There's her grab attack. Her dodge attack. Damn, Yuki. Well, at least she, I showed you her grab. She doesn't, it doesn't look like, um, I don't think she did that charge attack I was talking about. I think that's the charge attack. Like I said, it's been a while since I played this particular boss. But as you can see, the fire damage just melts. And especially if you can get her on Sloth. It's such a neat, much, it's 
much an easier fight. Um, I mean, if you have lightning, you can use it, but I personally don't like switching the weapons when I'm in a boss fight, particularly. A Gatling gun. Nice. <laughs> Just nice. Like I said, Yuki, I'm never going to tell you that she's an easy fight. She is a bit of a, a pain. No matter what level you are, no matter what build you're doing, it. Oh, shoot, I went the wrong way. Um, there, there's really. I'm never going to tell you guys this is an easy fight. Because it's not, it's a challenging fight. Yuki is a no holds bar. She does not hold punches back. And I find that, like, she's kind of a little bit unpredictable because it's hard for her to, to know when she's going to, like, when she does her stomp, it's pretty, re pretty well telegraphed. But when she does her ice charge, it's, you never know which one you're going to get. And there goes my guardian spirit. Uh, Yuki. It's okay, I didn't have a lot of... I didn't have any Umbrella, but... That's why I hate dying in boss fights, because... You never know, like... The nice thing is that this place will give you a good supply of... Umbrella shards. So you're never gonna... You should always have be able to have your Guardian Spirit on. Wish I had my... I wish I had a Fire Katana. You do get one later in a little... in a little bit in the game, but... Uh, Yuki! You're gonna... you're making me mad! Damn it, Yuki! I don't know why I was pushing. I was pushing dodge, but this, I don't know. Oh, this might turn into a rage walkthrough, <laughs> rage guide. <laughs> Yuki. So that's why I'm, I'm always kind of telling you guys to dodge, dodge and dodge because it's just more than not she's gonna do her shard attack or her bullets and they're just just nasty Thank you. Well, 
Well, you kind of just you kind of got into the real crucial part of doing I'm um, doing a boss guide. It's okay. Yeah, it's comedy. My sister made sausages and kind of distracted me a little bit. All right, enough playing around. We got this. So, so as you see, that's the reason why I like having um, my spear in low stance because if you have an element effect, the element effect is much easier to get on, get procked on there than anything than if you're using high stance, low st or mid stance. Not to mention it eats your stamina pretty quickly. Okay, so I think with that one, instead of dodging, just make sure you block that one. I know, Yuki does not like me right now. Because <laughs> it's always that one attack that's getting me right now, and... I'm supposed to be telling you guys and showing you guys how to get through this. But that's one of the reasons why I don't ever edit my mistakes out and give you guys a perfect flawless run. Because you don't learn anything from a flawless run. You learn from someone's mistakes. You learn from seeing what, what not to do. See, I'm just eating her health away now. Ow! And that was like total clutch. <laughs> um, total luck. So basically, what ha happened there is she got my she got the grab on me. But luckily, I had the fire proc on her, and her fire proc, the fire just ended up killing her as she was about to kill me. So, <laughs> uh, definitely make sure you have fire in this boss fight. Definitely be aware of her arrows that she shoots. She does one that gets goes, then she does like the Gatling gun. On that one, I would recommend just tr just do not dodging them, but trying to air the storm and just block the best you can. Um, now, if you find yourself in a tight spot, that's one of the reasons I didn't go with my Guardian Spirit. Um, because if I used my Guardian Spirit, I could probably have just knocked her out. Um is go ahead and don't be afraid to use your guardian spirit. Um, make sure you have a fire one equipped. Um, make sure, I mean, if you don't have a fire weapon, go in here with whatever weapon you have that is the highest output. Like my, um, like right now, this does 389 damage. Plus 11 on fire, close damage, skill Kai reduction, skill Kai damage, uh, strong ki attack Kai damage, close combat attack, enemy attacking. Um, so it's a pretty damn good, pretty darn good steer, pardon me. Um, but whatever weapon you have that you're more comfortable with, 
Um, I would highly recommend have, if you're using a weapon that does not have a element on it, use a talisman, which will give you a fire. Make sure it's fire talisman and make sure you have a fire bomb. Even if it doesn't do a lot of damage, I would not recommend using the big uh, Kurokudamas because those take a time to proc and throw. Um, these ones you can just toss and go. I mean, you can he's actually even get fire on them on her a lot, um, just probably with two or three tosses. Um, if you have sloth, I would highly recommend using it. As you guys see, sloth just makes a lot boss fights so much easier, um, easier and not foolproof. Um, like I and I will never tell you that Yuki, um, Yuki is an easy boss fight. As you can see, it took me like four, I think it was four or five attempts, um, just to fight her alone. Um, but make sure you have, as you can see, make sure you have fire. It's get, fire and sloth would be like, is like melt mode. Um, but that's pretty much all I got for closing. Uh, again, guys, let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think of these boss videos? Am I doing a good job? Or would you guys, is there a, a video game that I have, that you guys would like me to cover um, for make the, to make a boss guide or maybe, maybe give a shot at maybe doing a walkthrough? Um, go ahead and leave those comments down below. I love hearing you guys' thoughts or reading your guys' thoughts, be more precise. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I get content out to you guys on a regular basis. Um, especially if you guys like the content, definitely please subscribe. Um, if you guys like this video, please don't forget to rate it. Um, aside from that, guys, I hope you guys are all having a wookie-tastic day, and I'll see you all on our next adventure. Till next time, see ya!